visit from somebody named Alan, something to do with Alan and Indonesia. And then Dr. Rachel was bringing her. I said, sure, why not? You know, I see a lot of people every day, right? I see hundreds of people in the last three years of my duty here. And then he came, and I said, okay, well, what can you tell me? You know, what are you here seeing? me? So, well, I have a story to tell you. And he began telling his story of how he was, when he was a little boy, he was chased by the Nazis, and he was hidden by the Indonesian families, protected, given so much love, they had risked their life for him, and then how, well, I don't want to spoil it for him. <coughs> how did you feel when you heard the story about this Indonesian family in the middle of World War II, racist? did this incredible event? I was moved. Uh, I was close to tears. Uh, if Actually, I, I think, uh, you know, it did come down <laughs> a little bit, although I don't cry very much, uh, but I thought it was one of the most moving stories that uh, I've ever heard. And I thought it was a story that should be told to parents uh, and children, or by parents to their children. I think uh, it's, it's just an incredible story, and it's, it's great lessons for, for all of us. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador, for that wonderful introduction and for inviting me here uh, to speak. Uh, this is really quite a challenge, actually. Uh, you know, speaking, I, I'm a physician and I do a lot of public speaking uh, about air pollution, dangers of smoking, and that's always very easy. Uh, but to talk about the events of my own family, the Holocaust, is something that's much more difficult.